Hello good folks and welcome back to more Total War Warhammer 3 and when last we left off we ended up brokering peace with the thousand moors after handing them their buttocks and I don't know how long that peace is going to last I'm not sure if they're into breaking it right away or not but we're currently in improving stance so you know we'll see how things go uh, I believe they are currently uh, let's just see I believe they're already in a war oh, I could be wrong Submit no, they are currently at war with nobody. No body. Mr. Body's body. It's gone. There's an obscure movie reference for you. See if anyone gets it. And we have these guys here that are moving in. Now, I've placed a strategically placed these guys in the middle. So, depending on which way these decide to go, I can defend either or. And I'm betting they're going to go for the Temple of Kara. Now, my main forces, they're moving up. We're going to try and save our Bretonian brethren. But we'll have to hit that up in the next turn. Yombo is currently sat at the top there. Uh, having a bit of a tiffle with uh, Mazda Mundi, I believe. I don't know if they're at war with them, actually. I might need to check that. We've got something going on over here with old Luther Harkon. It definitely looks like they're heading for this town here. Technology researched. Huntsman General. Step to it. So we'll sneak in here. Good stuff. Right, we are currently at a uh, <laughs> upkeep deficit at the moment we'll need to change that at some juncture or another but we will be able to get some cash soon because i'm going to be capturing and selling these settlements to the brett's because they already have these two it's not worth me holding i i can't stand it i gotta have complete provinces <laughs> That's just me. Increase the pace. Increase the Time pace. To Time to move. He's got a very, va very subtle Sean Connery thing going on. Right, we're going to get that because I do want that can uh, uh, casualty replenishment rate and that extra control on some of my locations certainly wouldn't go amiss. I can't risk purchasing anything at the moment because I'm in that negative... Um, well, I don't know. I might be able to get this. That's a thousand. It's currently earning a hundred, so I can increase it to one fifty-seven with the extra five percent. But it'll only shave off fifty up here, uh, and it's going to take two turns as well. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. As soon as I can start getting some cash from fighting, God, I sound more like an orc player, honestly. Um, We'll be able to do something. Now, we're also heading to quit, uh, quit attacks, which I believe we need to do for, yes, Kalara. So, Hunter Specialities, Natural Scout, Sports Parent Army, Increasing Movement Range and Protecting Against Ambushes, Unrivaled Archer, Talent with a Bow, Unmatched by Any Other Imperial Soldier. Yes, the Elves are pretty good with a boo. Right. I guess we're going to... Oh, war declared. They are actually at war now. Yambo and... Uh, why would you go into the ocean and risk... The... Oh, boy. I mean, there could be a reason behind it. But, <laughs> yeah, me wondering whether or not they're actually at war yet. And they literally went to war in that turn. So, that's handy. Come on. You triggered my track card! I'm not going to fight this battle because uh, they've actually got some pretty solid units. Well, I don't know. See, this is going to be reinforcements. They ain't going to turn up for a minute. 
But we do start with some crossbowmen that could deal with the pterodon riders. This is a decisive victory, though, so... Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve this one. Yeah, I, I took far less damage than I would have done. And I'm going to take the money. Because who wouldn't at this point? I need the uh, I need the money. Right, that should drop my hostilities. Uh, hostility dissipates. Excellent. So now we can start ramping that back up again. Whoop, whoop. This fellow went up a level. Always good. We need to get him over into this one so I can get uh, the cost of his army down. He is going to be my... I don't know, actually. I could probably start moving him in this direction soon. Not right away. Ambush I'm, I'm going to start hitting up some ambushes. <clears throat> I'm going to move him up gently. So then these guys don't see him coming. And then I can use him as a third stack to start taking some of these towns. Because that's the main goal here. To save the Bretonians from themselves. Um, no need for me to do the force march thing. I go here. Get to it! That should be close enough for me to attack in the next turn Ambush with a positions. regular move. On the trail. But I'm going to move in no with the ambush, so then they don't see me coming. Okay. Because that's the not what I want. That gives me another turn of rejuvenations, or replenishments rather. <clears throat> In friendly territory. This will be an easy town to take. Easy now. Because their main force is currently situated over here. The Bretts are currently hiding in here doing essentially nothing right now. Um, I don't want to go to war with these guys just yet. But I'm pretty sure the Bretonians are. At, no, they're not at war with them at the moment. They are currently bogged in. So, who's Itza at war? Uh, uh, Itza are at war with Spittle and the Awakened. I just really hope the old Thousand Moors just stays chill down here. We're currently in improving mode, though, so... Um... I've actually, uh, my income has improved slightly. Ooh, that's going to wipe me out a bit. But the uh, income generated from that is going to be massive. And I'm going to have to get that there. Because I need to generate more income. Okay. So... Yeah, this doesn't seem to have an effect on um, army upkeep, so I don't know what's occurring with that at the moment. Your bow is currently moving in on the Monument of the Moon. I really don't understand, though, why they made the uh, the colonies um, faction. I don't know why they made that a Southlander faction instead of um, an Empire faction. Recruit the following hero, an Empire captain. Can I even do that? I do actually have a tier 3 now. I can recruit huntsmen Marcus all my days. That's what I'll eventually do to get rid of these archers. Right, anyway, Marcus, Marcus Wolfhart. Wolfhart. All right. We are going to... Am I not at war with them yet? 
Well, do you know who I am? Butter hey, my biscuit. Now is the time to unite. Yes. That gets a military alliance, uh, alliance and a little bit of gold. I never fail. Yeah, and an extra thousand gold for forming the alliance. The mission issued, get 20 allegiance points. We got 46, so, you know, that's pretty good. Come on then, Marcus, we're going to take a town. The Will of the Waystalker. By the Empire. Let's, uh, the evidence you observed yourself at the ruins does make it seem plausible that the men were slaughtered by some sort of beast. Still, the use of weapons of war could also not be conclusively ruled out. Clara's resolve is strong, however, and you feel compelled to believe her. After all, the hunting senses of a waystalker are not to be underestimated. Ready does that <coughs> give her another... It does. Did I read this one? I don't know if I read this one. Uh, but I'll do it quickly anyway. Clara's been part of the expedition for quite some time now. She seems restless to say the uh, to slay. She seems restless to slay this beast, but knows little about its actual nature. I find it curious as to why she seeks a quarry, which is largely a mystery to her. But in truth, I am simply glad to have her strength added to our own. So, <clears throat> so see no need to push the question. We are mobilizing now anyway, as news has reached camp that a treasure-seeking convoy of about 50 or so men disappeared into some nearby ruins. Clara insisted she investigate and came back, describing a grisly scene. Little was left of the mutilated men. She said she is convinced it is connected to the beast we are hunting. Though I respect Clara greatly, I feel she has not been entirely forthcoming with us. She might not be lying about what she has seen this time, but I do believe she is withholding something about the motives of her Lustrian hunt. Or motives for her Lustrian hunt. For this reason, I've decided to take the expedition and investigate this ruin myself. Wrath of God. I started having reservations about the nature of the beast Clara is pursuing and even considered calling off this hunt. But then she revealed something quite astounding. It is her sincere belief that the beast she hunts contains the reincarnated soul of her dead lover. She explained that as punishment from the one called Kernos, the elven god of the hunt, Kalara's beloved is in an endless cycle of life and death, always coming back as a murderous beast after it is slain. She has killed several versions of the beast before and is determined to end the cycle once and for all, so her love may finally pass into the afterlife. She believes almost obsessively that Kernos is testing her, for she always finds that the lost soul of her lover passes into a more unkillable beast than the one before it. Truly the Elven gods are stranger than those of men, but of empathy, out of empathy for Kalara's loss, I have decided to continue helping her for now. We must cast our net out wide and interrogate the Dark Ones to the north as well as the Lizards to the south to see what they know of this beast. Oh, actually, there's got to be an update for our quest path as well. Win three battles against following race, Lizard Men. Kalara gains the trait Fervent. And I've got to move him into a vampire coast area. Right, you need to move proceed. up because you're going to bolster this force and we're going to slap this town. I've got your backs, so watch mine. Um, we're gonna sack Take it. Take it all. Scout leader. And then we're Here gonna they are. On the trail. That's a fat we're bit next. of cash for me. Yes. Right, we're nearly over here uh, for the headhunter. Uh, quartermaster, that's where we're going. Need to drop Marcus, the price of that upkeep. Fight. And then we'll start making our uh, secondary forces a little tougher. 
Well done. Oh, where do we want to go with this one? Spell resistance. She doesn't get a mount, so I don't think uh, missile resistance is all that necessary. I'm going to take the ambush defense chance, though. We are coming up against Ratmen, and they are able to ambush. Um, hostility increases. Um, they are able to ambush as an attack stance, so. They yeah. are vanquished. You need to be wary of that. Uh, I want to move Marcus to the toys. other side of this. Ready to take Tlaxlan. Huntsman General. Huntsman General. Huntsman General. Okay, that is... Uh, Another trophy for the Hunts Marshal. Uh, uh, Quintax. I mean, I got three grand. I could repair it. That would make the Bretts a bit happier, I'm sure. Now I can actually increase some bits and bobs over here. So we're going to... What are we going to do? See here, when that goes up, I need to put up walls. I need walls in case they come for me. But in the interim... Let's start raising that settlement and we'll get a bit more cash from that. How are we doing at the Unseen Pillars? Let's increase that. More money is good money. And that. That's about as far as I'm going to get. I might actually put in a growth building there. Because it can't hurt to have a little extra growth. Knights of the Blazing Sun. Blazing Sun Chapter. Uh, substantially more costly unless you control their chapter house in the region of Talibheim. Woo! That upkeep. Oof. <clears throat> Still, uh, I might well increase my uh, uh, stableage at some juncture, but at the moment, I need to blow money to make money. <laughs> you gotta spend it to make it, boy! The nation calls. Uh, and he's ready to help move in on Tlaxlan. Now the question is, what's Itza going to do now that we're coming in? So you went all the way through there, took damage, and come back now, and for what? Yes. Yes. Oh, Gorok, yes. You're about to get absolutely sandwiched, my friend. You're about to get battered like a cod on Friday night at the local chippy. Oh, finally, he does something. Excellent. So getting Gorok out of there has actually had Olbrek pull his finger out of his ass. I ain't gonna worry about corruption. Plus 10 corruption, all promises. Uh, provinces and uh, it's only for three turns for three grand uh, a cloaked stranger from the mist shrouded land of Albion approaches with a request he is of a sinister aspect but assures you that his intentions are good give me the money give me that fat loot Okay, right. Uh, casualty replenishment rate minus five, but we gain favor of Sterland. Oh! We got a different one. Many of the Empire's best hunters are employed by your expedition. This has caused a problem back home in the provinces where the paucity of good hunters has resulted in an explosion in the deer population. Ah, the prolifically multiplying herbivores have been feeding on pastures used by livestock farmers. In turn, affecting food supplies in villages and cities that traditionally depend on animal husbandry for food. The pockets of famine have also caused disease outbreaks, which are threatening to get worse. That might have actually something to do with the fact that you've got Festus right in the middle of the empire, but hey. You are contacted separately by the electors of Oslin, Sterland, and Avaland, who seek your backing on their chosen course of action. Which, suggest, uh, which suggestion will you support? Divert supplies. Minus three growth all, po uh, all provinces. Five turns. 
and we get some love from Osland. Wants you to divert food supplies to them from the expedition's colonies to help address the famine. Uh, heightened tensions. And we get Avalanche support. Uh, want, uh, Avalan wants to strengthen the Empire's political position to help uphold morale back home which will rile up your enemies across the world and then we got uh, Sterling wants you to send all the medical supplies you can to help stem the disease outbreaks in their state before it gets worse well you've also got the vampire counts probably giving you a big old kiss there Sterling so you know what I'm going to go with the minus 3 growth it's mad but Minus three growth for five turns is not massive. And I don't really want to lose any casualty replenishment rate because that's rough. <coughs> so we're going to send some food. Earn 20 allegiance with any allied faction. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I'm also going to actually take the time to uh, hire a captain. Monster tracker. Plus five campaign movement. Plus four uh, control local province. Or we can get him as a big strong boy. Ah, oh, let's get him a strong boy. Distinguished captain. Alright, not much we can do with you at the moment, because you're stuck all the way over there. But you have a mighty fine beard, sir. Right, we've got plus one control, minus one wound time, ambush success chance... Plus two control. Good stuff. Can I build wizards yet? One more turn and I can build the wizards. Right, I know it's mad, but I want to go for that port first. I would like to get the armory, but port, 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 you know. Marcus Wolfheart. Please tell me you can make that. Yes. yes. Right, let's do a queaky, queaky chick save. Because, you know, I, I've lost the ability to speak Engage normally. Targets. Gorok, you're about to get slapped, son. Oh no, close defeat. Let's Better continue that siege. Huntsman General. Stay together. Let's move up. Equipment Gorok, check. you made Receive. you made a mistake, son. Covering ground. Of course. Now, this is a siege battle, and... Oh, woo! Decisive victory! Don't mind if I do! Now, I probably could just snipe the sh ever-loving mother out of them from outside, but that's going to take about six million years to do. And as it's a decisive victory... Boom. There, there's going to be a lot more auto resolves coming in the future, I'm afraid, because some of these fights do get a little bit... Rah. Um, uh, yeah, I want that money. Uh, we're going to sack it. Coverage. And then one of these guys can actually take it over. Zintler's Rights Guard. Oh, we got a few more Reggies of renown. Wolfhart. Good old Reggie. General. Marcus Wolfhart. Beast. Uh. To untame lands. Okay, you can't take it. Track and track. But you can. Hostility increased. Mandate progressed. The expedition has increased its level of acclaim, making great strides towards fulfilling the Emperor's mandate. You will now receive better quality Imperial supplies. Continue garnering acclaim in it to advance the expedition's progress and further the Imperial cause. Uh, so we're looking at plus three the rank for all Imperial fall. supply units. But the lizard men really, really hate me now. Calling men. Okay. Um, so we've got nearly ten grand. Not gonna lie, that's pretty, pretty Marcus sweet. Wolfheart. Uh, yeah. Okay. Your Marcus Wolfheart. troops took a bit of a beating there, so we're gonna get that can't really in terms of Mission anything accomplished. purchase any more decent troops Into the wild. but what we can do Huntsman General do Marcus that. Wolfhart. move Marcus up we'll take the fresh troops um uh yeah I think that's probably all I'll do for now 
I was going to drop the swordsman off up in there, but... Okay. The nation calls! Now, you've actually got Once space. Fall in, man! So, what I might do is I will... All right. Okay, you can't do it by the Quicken your stride! But we can do it this way. A successful foray! Oh, for goodness sake. Alright. That'll give them better replenishment in the town. I really wish there was like a thing I could do that would allow me to get stuff for one turn. I'll tell you, that's where the ogres actually Huntsman have it pretty good. Scout leader. They've got a meat pot choice that you can get that uh, reduces global purchasing the men are keen. to sure. a minimum of one turn, and it's absolutely massive. The nation calls. Marcus Wolfhart. So, there's going to be a little bit of uh, moving stuff around in the next turn. Uh, what have we got here? Missile defense. Hold the line. Extra leadership. Doesn't really need additional ammunition. Fights never really last that long for him. I want to get that snare, I think. So we'll get Scarred Veteran and probably full plate armor. Because I would like to get that snare. Tools of Judgment, no. Or maybe... What can we get for Kalara here? Plus three speed. Yeah, all right then. Ugh. Well done, Cobras. So, what's going to happen Once here is general. this guy is going to be the purchaser of all things um, army related. Feed into Theon, uh, Firth Fiddler, and Marcus Wolfhart. How should we proceed? And. Yeah, he, he's going to be our recruiter. So now we can get that, that, and that. And we'll increase that. Huntsman General. Now, I don't think you can purchase anything. Oh, could start getting some spearmen with shields. Nah. They are vanquished. Right. Honor Is... before glory. Oh, Bordelow. We uh, they have a allied mission for us. Oh, we'll accept this one. I don't. I mean, I don't know where where it's going to go, but oh, I meant to go in here. So, Bordelow. The lady. Grants you safe passage in these land. All right, what settlement is this? Uh, Quitax. How much are you willing to give? Five grand. I accept. There you go, then. I didn't see the uh, damage I caused to this one. 718. So we'll get that repaired. And build anything else. We can increase the armory here. Ooh. 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 Bit much, but we'll uh, upgrade that. So the Wellsprings of Eternity is doing alright, because from a, a beat up old 
nothing from nothing to something is pretty good. Right, we shall end this turn and see what occurs. I'm just glad to see he's coming out of his shell a little bit now. <laughs> now, Chakwa. Equipment check. Okay, yeah, so this is actually the capital of uh, Zautek and Brigon. Chakwa is the last bit for here, so I might try and take the sacred pools for myself. Gives me a little bit of a base of operations, but I want to try and take over Itza, Quetza, and Zyotl. That's my plan, anyway. So we'll end this turn and see what occurs. Oh, it's a skink on a Ripidon. Or Ripidactyl, rather. Not something I'm all that worried about, if I'm honest. Ripidactyls are pretty garbage. It's the Pterodons that are awesome. Especially if, you can, it is, if you're playing Tic-Tac-Toe and you just play Marcus freaking Wolfheart. Bomber Squadron uh, Simulator. Yeah, that bonus versus large. Okay, right. I need to do a little Huntsman bit of jiggery General. pokery here. So we'll take okay. out a march stance. Huntsman General. Okay, we've got a few more troops here that are almost ready, but not quite. Where next? So I want to fatten those out. Huntsman General. Okay, I want your healthy troops. Take your handgunners too, your knights and your cannon. That'll do the trick. Okay, so we've got a full stack Marcus, for you, Wolfhart. full stack for Marcus. And we need to be looking to deal with you. I wonder, though, if Albrecht might just slap him down. I don't know what his plan is. They seem to have been in the middle of dealing with... Covering ground! Um... Tracker of distinction! They seem to have been in the middle of trying to deal with the uh, Awakened. And we went and uh, took a big steamy pee all over their cornflakes. I'm going to purchase two Huntsmen from there. Direct me. <clears throat> um, oh, actually. Why are you going that way around? Wouldn't it have been quicker to go through? You know what? Fine. Do whatever. How are these guys doing? They're improving. They like the fact that we're at war with Itza now, which uh, is good. They still don't like the fact that we're <laughs> we're, we're giving uh, uh, Bordalo um, stuff. I'm not going to give him Tlaxlan until I can start getting hold of uh, this bit down here because I need him to recruit. So Alexi van Blunt. How to proceed? is my uh, recruiter Huntsman right General. now. And I ha as good because I've uh, got his recruitment costs to minus 15%. So. Uh, what do I want to do now? What quests have I got here? Uh, capture and occupy the following settlement, the Golden Colossus. You know, that one's never really going to happen. Uh, upgrade settlement building to level 5. Uh, upon secure... D 
definitely investigate the threat. Ensure that the following building has been constructed. Tall walls. Tall walls, eh? Guardhouse. City watch. Night watch. Armoured watches. So, tall walls, then. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to have to be a capital uh, jobby. Might have to do it over... Hmm. That's a bugger, actually. Ooh, I can get a battle wizard now, though. How much are they? 750! Oh, but look at those choices, mate. We're definitely going for a bright wizard. Gonna set them boggers ablaze. Actually, do I go for a f uh, f do I go for a fire uh, bright wizard? Oh, jade might be helpful. Well, that'd be a. Uh, Quandary for the next turn. Did you just try and you just tried to take on the awakened and got absolutely slapped? I mean, I'm not complaining. Ooh, they're getting brazen, building another little force there. Hello, mission aborted. So, we can always start up another allied mission. I always get my target. Okay. Time to move. Sir! Oof, left you behind a little bit, didn't we? Get a move on! Keep the pace! By the comet! Sigmar's will! Can I purchase the wizard here or yeah, damn it. I can get him here though. Death is good, Amber is alright. I think I'm just gonna go full damage. With the bright wizard. Aggressive. Ooh, with extra speed. I serve no master. Give him the talisman of endurance. To oh, untame someone here can use the war banner. There we go. To untame lands. Right, you've moved, you've moved. So we're going to take uh, Chakwa. Watchman General. We'll wait for those Huntsmen to build and then I can move them down. Sell Tlaxland to Borderlow. And hold Chakwa for a little bit until I can get my hands on this one. Not ideal because it's an unpleasant climate, but still. Uh huh. Yes. Mm, not time to build walls yet. So we'll increase our income. Thousand moors. They've got to start a fight with somebody, surely. Maybe the ratties? Come on, guys. I love the fact that they start a fight with me, though, but I haven't got the moxie to, uh, to <laughs> back it up. Like, eh, hey, we're going to start a fight with you because you killed our other dark elf friends. How could you? And then proceed to get slapped. 
Ooh, Clan Pestilence. Not liking the fact that they're looking pretty high on the old power list. Oh, uh, he going over there to get some quality troops. I hope that's the case, because let me tell you. Uh, migration, plus 15 uh, growth, but minus 3 control. Recruitment cost is minus 10%, though. Probably going to regret that. How many turns was that, actually? Three. Ouch. I'm going to actually have to get some control buildings going on over it. Mm. All right. Increase your control. Huntsman General. So they're a little cheaper. But not that much. But I Only should be able to get dedicated. some more cash by taking this down. Hunt them down. Another three grand to be precise. For the Empire. Huntsman General. Orders heated. Forward. Ready yourselves. To the free! Get out of my jungle. Take it all. Equipment check. No greater marksman. Heading out. Oh, there we go. Oh, Clara the Fervent. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. The beast was not found, but Kalara still refused to give up. By now, you will have ascertained that there are several beasts in the jungles of these lands that appear cognizant when they shouldn't, or larger than their normal counterparts. Privately, you know this is the reason that Kalara has been here for so long. There are just so many candidates that could feasibly contain the soul of her lover. It could be literally any of them. Though Kalara's passion to slay an enormous beast has not wavered since you met her, you do not think you can continue without the truth laid clearly upon the table. And that does mean that we should have the final chapter. Isha's Blessing. I confronted Kalara last night, hunter to hunter, urging her to give up this futile mission. To my surprise, she agreed, but implored me to help her with one final task. I accepted on the sole condition she tell me everything. Clara revealed that she was once a princess of Widrioth, a high realm of Athel Loren. Her lover, Atherin, was a wild rider of Kernos, the personal guard of the Athel Loren's king. Atherin violated his oath to sever all worldly ties, persisting in his relationship with Clara and even revealing his order's hallowed secrets to her. Kernos vengefully transformed Atherin into a mighty stag before cruelly leading Clara to unwittingly hunt it down. Discovering the stag's true nature, Clara eventually learned of Atherin's cursed fate of eternal reincarnation as a beast. <sighs> she had also recently been visited in her dreams by the goddess Isha, mother of the elven race and consort to Kernos himself. A great privilege, she said, for Isha is usually forbidden to have any contact with her worldly children. The goddess offered Kalara another route to freeing her lover's soul. Instead of further destruction, she must make a worldly display of love and construct a shrine directly on the banks of Itza's fabled Emerald Pools. Construct one of each of the, uh, of the following buildings. The Emerald Pools. Objective reward, Clara gains trait Isha's blessing. I don't know how uh, what I'm missing to unlock the other guys actually move a character to the following province Spine of Sotek okay and move a character to the following region uh, Zlan Huapek oh that's over here oh I could kill two birds with one stone with this I'm going to move you down here because that should move on um, 
Oh, I've forgotten his bloody name. Uh, Hertwig. Move one hero to a region owned by the Vampire Coast. And uh, Zlanhuapek. And then I just need to get him over to the spine of Sotek. I have purchased a wizard as well. I need to start moving Mission him down. Then. Well done, comrades. Okay, Tracker right, we've got some levelling up to do. And then we will probably call it a part for now. There we go. Three stacks of Quartermaster. Marcus Keep that nice Wolfheart. and cheap. You're probably all thinking, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You don't need to make your armies cheaper. But no, more armies the better. And it's easier to reduce their upkeep. <laughs> okay, so we've got some cash now. So we're going to put some walls up here. And we desperately need some control in this region. This might mean that we spawn Gotrek and Felix. And we're going to increase the control here too, because that's getting pretty bad. We've already swapped that one. Excellent. So these guys are going to, what, sit in here? Who we got here? Flink Meppen. That's who we've got to kill. But Itza will be mine. Itza coming to me. Ready. Huntsman General. Damn it. I've not got enough for another Huntsman. That's fine. Or is it though? Wall's going to take four turns. That's going to take one. That's going to take two. I'd rather key. full stack this purchase considering it takes two rounds. Right. Well, when we return, folks, Another we hit next turn and find out special. what hell awaits us in the next installment. But until then, folks, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.